Let's pucker up as Trudy's back with the latest in lippies. Morning, Trudy. Morning. I love this part of the show. Uh, what's on trend with lipsticks at the moment? This is where I get all my intel from. Oh, look, it's many and varied, but I think brighter the better, bold. Um, there's a bit of an 80s comeback, which has seen the traditional lipstick bullet come back because it was actually very big in the 80s, lipstick oh. bullet. There's still a lot of liquid lipstick around, which is lovely if you like a matte finish. Um, and lip gloss has gone a little bit more metallic and less um, liquidy and shiny. Okay, so what if you, that's good because your hair always gets stuck into that yeah. stuff and it's revolting. Um, so what's what's the key to finding a bright shade that suits you? Look, you can be guided by your skin tone, that always does work. It's trial and error with lipstick, you know, actually trying it on your hand is not the best thing because your hand is often darker thanks mm. to sun damage than, than your face. But generally if you've got an olivey or a medium or dark skin tone, go for a more orange based lipstick. And then if you're pale and ivory and sort of fair skin, go for something that's a little bit more blue based. And that's a really good guide with reds especially. Um, that tends to work. Um, also teeth, you know, if your teeth are really white, you can get away with quite a bright colour. If they're not so white, then maybe just dial it back a bit. Okay, so what about a nude or an everyday lipstick? Any tips for choosing the one that's right for you for this one? Well, look, I've got a new tip. It's a bit out there, but I was watching an NBC show the other day called Doctors, which I love. It's a health and beauty show. And a an, beauty expert said to be guided by your areolas or your nipples. Apparently Mother Nature knows best when it comes to the skin tone, so depending on the colour of your nipples, that's a good guide. That's going to make trying it on in the pharmacy pretty interesting, isn't it? I will not or in the beauty shop. I will not be asking you to demonstrate. <laughs> However, um, the other guide to go for is like a rosy nude, always such a pale skin. Um, and the darker your, your skin tone, then go for something a little bit more brown or bronze. And then medium tones can always wear a peachy nude, so that's another good guide. But I quite like the nipples. Guide. I think it's quite good. It's great. It's Bit it's very interesting. I can see a lot of people at home this afternoon going whoop in our whoop in our wacky, fascinating world that is beauty on Instagram. Okay, so, <laughs> so what? And you know, they'll be all over Instagram tonight. We can blame you for that. Um, so what about the finish? What should we be looking for? Um, I think it depends on how good you are with your makeup. You know, a gloss is really easy to apply or a balm because you can just put it on without a, a liner. You can mm. basically put it on, swipe and go. You don't even need a mirror. Um, if you're wearing a bold, bright shade, you do need to pay a little bit of attention to how you apply it because, I mean, if it's outside the lip area, the lip line area, it can look a bit strange. Um, I bought in a really clever product, actually, um, which I could talk about right now. It's a clear lip liner, so it's completely invisible. And this one here? Yep, it's an Estee Lauder um, lip liner. It's in clear, completely invisible, and it's from their double wear range that so lasts a long time. And you just run that around the outside of the lip, and you don't have to use a lip liner, and your lipstick doesn't travel. So that's going to be one of the things that stops you bleeding. Okay, let's yeah. talk about well, your lips bleeding and your lipstick into your crinkles. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about some of the products you've got here then. Okay, these before look we go on, drier your lips, the more likely they are to bleed. The lipstick is to bleed. Really? Yeah, prep first with a balm. Um, it really does work. Okay. So probably one of my favourite lipsticks this year would be Bobbi Brown's Crushed Colour Lipstick. It has the feel of a balm, but the longevity of a lipstick. And it's one of the most amazing lipsticks, honestly. That, that's the latest shade. That's a beautiful um, colour. Cezanne Nude. It's gorgeous. It just goes with everything. I don't know anyone that doesn't suit that That colour. would suit most colour people it, too. Yeah, it's great. And it just lasts for so ages. No feathering either, no bleeding. Excellent. Do I pick these two up Yeah, so this is a range, um, you know, the nudes that are coming out natural nudes from Too Faced. They've got 10 colours. They're, they're based with cocoa butter, so they're nice and nourishing. And from a really dark right through to really light. So I bought the darkest and the lightest. You know what I'm thinking about with that one, aren't I? Is anyone going to be like, really? Yeah. Anyone's but, you know, colour? I don't very, think very so. dark, dark, dark skin. You know, if you're looking for a nude and you've got really, really dark skin. I'm just thinking about your earlier tip there, Trudy. Oh, well, you know very, very dark skin. Very oh, wow, they're beautiful. Nipple. They're very quite thick too. Quite yeah, thick and they've, you know, they've got a base of cocoa butter, so they're beautifully nourishing, gorgeous. Don't need a liner with those. Wow. Again, that lipstick bullet's back. Um, NARS, um, these ones are called um, pigment, matte pigment lip colour. They're like a liquid that they Ooh. go on like a liquid. You don't need a lip liner with them. I'm actually wearing uh, a colour today called American Woman. It's an amazing Wow, colour. it's beautiful. And it just lasts for ages. You can put a gloss over the top, high, opaque colour. Put it on like a liquid stain and it just lasts for hours. Lovely. No, I must admit this one this I've had a practice is a how work to open it. Of art, isn't it? Yeah. Guerlain G, uh, Rouge G, 
customized case, customized lipstick. So there's wow. 20 shades of lipstick, which are lovely and nourishing with Marengo. Oh, that's beautiful. And the case, you can decide which case you want. Now that's up there in price. You know, that's an $86 lipstick, but it's a beautiful gift and it's something you really want to pull out of your, your makeup. Okay, we've got, a, we've got a hustle now because I'm getting told my okay, ears so that we're running Urban out of time. Okay, so Urban Decay High Shine um, Ultra Cushion Lip Gloss mm. Metallic. Like I said before, they look really bright, but they're full of glitter and shimmer and they last for ages. And they're not too wet looking. They're actually a creamy gloss. Beautiful. And the last one, which and is finally. really clever, is by Terry. And this is also at Mecca, along with the Urban Decay. Twist on lip and mm. it's Oh. ombre lip. So there's a range of colours that give you two shades in one lipstick. Oh, so you can mix them together and, and have one or the other. And channel your inner makeup artist and create your own gradient coloured lip or a bit of ombre colour, bit of fun. There's lots of shades. And that feels really glossy and lovely. Hey Trudy, that was fun. Thank you so much. I'm going to go home and do some testing later <laughs> on today. Now for more from Trudy, head to her website, beautyeq.co.nz.